What's happening, Hoodlum Gang? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Hoodie from the Hood, a.k.a. your friend from that big old end. And before we get started, I want you to do me a few things. I want you to hit that like. I want you to hit that subscribe to put yourself on to the Hoodlum Gang. And please, leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think about this content that I'm putting out. Also, if you want to take it a step further, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, at Hoodie from the Hood, man. Holla at me. I interact with my people. I even interact with some of you trolls when I feel like it. But that's neither here nor there. Now, <clears throat> hey, listen, we're going to get into it. But look, I just woke up. Well, I woke up about 30, 40 minutes ago. Um, I'm looking on my feed and I see something. And... I don't want to be one of them types of people that always jump the gun and put out false stories. So I had to do a little research. But before we get into the topic when, that you can see from the title, um, there's two things that I want to talk about real fast. Um, one, the PNB Rock situation. Um, if y'all haven't seen it, I did a video on that already. Go ahead and check that out. But it's crazy because that location right there on Manchester, Manchester and Maine, um, me and the homie, me and the little homie, Criplos, free Criplos, uh, we was actually over there, literally across the street. This was during the pandemic. We had slid out to L.A. I think this was the same. No, it wasn't the same day that I did the street TV interview with S-Bone. I think it was the time before that when we just went out there on some other shit. And, uh, shit, how we ended up over there, I can't even tell you. But across the street from that Roscoe's is a place called the Burger Palace. If you know that area, you know what I'm talking about. Um, if you don't, you can look it up on the maps. It's right on the corner, uh, on the opposite corner on Manchester and Maine. And me and the homie went right there and got some food. Um, uh, obviously we went through the drive through so, uh. It wasn't no thing, but that's crazy that that's across the street where he lost his life at. Um, so anyways, RIP to that man, like I said, um, you got to stay more dangerous and you got to see more careful. And that's just the reality of the situation. Um, number two, somebody please take Swifty Blue's phone. Like serious shit, homie. Like this dude... This dude is getting out of hand, homie. Uh, he remind me of one of them dudes. He he remind me of like DJ Khaled, like like the corny nigga who hang out with all the cool dudes but want to be the loudest one in the room. Like he's the guy who makes everything go around. Uh, he just can't stop. I just seen a video of this nigga talking about checking in and pulling out things on camera. Like this dude is goofy. I don't know who his homies is. Somebody please take that nigga phone and tell him to stop talking. Like, he just can't help it. I don't get it. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, as you can tell by the title, uh, <laughs> your boy, <laughs> your boy, Charleston Cheddar Bob White, um, apparently was in a club last night and, uh, Shot itself. Shot itself, I believe, twice in the leg. Um, Y'all can correct me whether it was once or twice. But, uh, shit, man. <laughs> what more of a fitting way than a bozo like that uh, to go out? than to shoot itself. Now, don't get it twisted. People shoot themselves. Stuff happened. I got homies who didn't shot themselves. I'm quite sure y'all got homies who didn't shot themselves. Nobody is above that happening. Um, I, I don't think he got into it with nobody. I think he was just, you know, in the club, readjusted it, and it went off on him. Um, but see, here's the thing. Karma. Let's talk about that. Karma comes in all shapes sizes and forms homie and um if you're gonna be out here doing the type of stuff that you do um it can come back to you it can come back to those you love it could come back to people close to you you know what i'm saying when you out here 
doing that type of stuff and just being disrespectful and thinking you can't be touched. I understand nobody touched him before y'all get in my comments and be like, ain't nobody. Bro, we understand that. If he's a God-fearing man, which I think he is, um, that's probably God's way of telling him he need to calm down. Now we know he not because we know he's an attention whore and a shock jock. He's admitted this himself. So he's going to come back out. He going to come back out and have something to say. He probably in the hospital thinking about how he going to say it right now. Um, he's very calculated. That's the type of dude he is. But like I said, um, karma comes in all sizes, all shapes and forms, homie. Um, that right there, let that be a lesson, man. Um, and I know he's still going to, you know, protect himself because he in too deep now. He can't he can't stop doing that. But just just the fact that he got a little sample size taste of how that lead burn. Um, he probably ain't going to want to feel that again. And you got some people out there who you have upset. So, um, I mean, you never know. You never know. So maybe this will be a wake up call for him to chill the fuck out. Uh, you might want to get yourself some security. You standing in the club. Uh, yay high. Um, don't know exactly who he was with like that. Um, but, I mean, it's clearly not for you, my mans. It's not. But you have to carry that on you because you can't stop doing this. You you, you might want to get some backup. You might want to get some real help, homie, because you almost took yourself out with your goofy ass. Uh, like I said, he probably going to get on here and still keep running his mouth because he in too deep and he can't help it. That's just the type of nigga he is. But um, eventually, homie, you might not be so lucky. The people around you might not be so lucky, homie. Um, that's not me wishing anything on you. That's just how the world works, homie. You can't just go around doing and saying whatever you want to and think you're just going to keep getting away with it. Uh, which brings me to another individual, uh, Snitch9. Um, my girl had showed me that he had posted something to where he was like making fun of PNB Rock's death. And uh, it's only a matter of time, homie. I'm telling you, I don't care if it's 10 years from now. It's only a matter of time before people is going to want to uh, bring that type of energy to you that you put out. They're going to reciprocate it back to you, homie. It is what it is. Um, that's just how the world works, homie. That's just how life is. Um, like I said, the energy you put out into the world, you will get back. Karma is a real thing. So y'all can go ahead and keep trolling for likes and Followers and subscribe subscriptions all y'all want to, homie. Uh, we'll see how far that gets y'all. But anyways, man, I just want to make this quick video. Like I said, man, I had just woke up. I was chilling. I'm like, man, hold on. Let me go ahead and put a little video out about this one real fast. Uh, but like I said, I had to confirm if it was true first. Um, seen it, I think Say Cheese had posted it. And he rocked with say, with say Cheese, so, you know, uh, that was kind of confirmation right there. But didn't nobody shoot him. Um, he cheddar bobbed himself, and it is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. This your boy Hoodie from the Hood, a.k.a. your friend from that big old end. Uh, like I said, like, subscribe, put yourself on to the Hoodlum Gang, and follow me on IG at Hoodie from the Hood, the same as the channel. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day.